Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Schultz. Sorry for the delay, I've had a lot of work and I'm gonna get back into all these games, plan side 2, tips, tricks, stuff like that. Now the biggest thing is recoil in this game. How to get rid of it and how to mitigate it. I, as For the amount of time I've been playing, recoil in this game, there doesn't seem to be enough recoil in this game. I don't mind this because I'm not the best PC player, but most of the recoil in these games uh, in these for these guns are very simple. Not every gun has vertical recoil, but a lot of them do. I will go in further detail on a different in a, on a different video in depth about how to uh, deal with the specific recoil of these guns of each gun, but in a general, most of these guns have vertical recoil. Now, my first tip I would say is find a spot when you first start off and get used to your weapon. This may sound stupid, this may sound like for retards, but I've noticed every single time I play a game, first minute or two, start aiming in a corner, get used to it, and you will really start understanding your weapon almost immediately. It's like riding a bike. Just one one, one round around the block, playing with it, your gun, shooting in a corner, getting your, used to the recoil, you'll be fine. And most of the, gun, most of the guns in this game have a vertical recoil. Now the ones that have the biggest recoil are the new conglomerate. They have the biggest recoil in visual recoil. Their guns, guns seem like they're bouncing around and jumping around. It's just visual recoil. Now, if you're having problems with looking down the sights, definitely, uh, looking down the iron sights, definitely get one of the normal reticule sights on there. It will help you out because if the visual recoil is bothering you, having a sight will usually ma make it look like it's not bouncing around as a lot so you can actually have easier rounds on target for yourself. Now, other than practicing just a minute before you start the game whole and get used to the recoil pattern of your gun, even though it's a very simple and most of them are vertical, this will help you out. Now, the second thing is, another thing that may sound stupid and retard, uh, retarded like we know that, Schultze, is this. Make sure the area you're on is clean and devoid of anything. And I know this is a general tip and you're going to complain, oh, come on. We all should know this. Not everyone realizes this because most of the time I'm working, I'm writing papers, I'm doing a ton of different shit, and my workstation is <laughs> so fucked up with shit, I usually have a small space to work. Always make sure you have a, a large space to drag your mouse down. Now, the actual recoil of each gun and each engagement, even holding on full auto, me moving my mouse around on the, to mitigate the recoil is usually just a small, gentle downward motion. I think the most I've ever had to move my mouse downward to compensate for the recoil is maybe three inches, and that was because I had I was on sustained fire. Three inches. That may seem like a lot, but as a whole, that's very little space that you have had to move. You, you don't have to move that much, and that's me overestimating, because most of the time you may just have to move your mouse down for normal simple engagements less than an inch to an inch. I mean, this is how do, how small you have to move it. And just it's just a gentle movement, just a slow drag downwards for most of these guns. And if you do that, your rounds will be exactly where you put the mouse reticule, uh, the little point of uh, where you're going to shoot. It will almost 90% of the time hit it. So right then there, you just have to slowly control your rounds. Now if you want to do bursting, you can, but you can actually go full auto with your guns in this game and keep your rounds on the right target and the exact target. So you don't even have to worry about bursting your weapon. You can actually go full auto as long as you just pull your gun slightly down, you can have the rounds hit where you want to hit. Exactly where it point says your rounds will hit. And this does go the same for walking and movement. So if you're walking and opening fire on someone, and you pull down slightly, your rounds will hit theirs. There's no uh, different recoil patterns if you're walking and moving. If you're walking and moving, your rounds are going to be exactly where you're placed it. The only thing that will ever throw off your accuracy is that there's explosions next to you that rocks your screen and yourself. That's the only difference. So as a whole, recoil mitigation is very simple and very easy. It is a fun, it's a, it's a fun game that you just make sure you take your time. Always think before you engage. Don't just be thinking, oh, I'm going to go Rambo and blow people up. Kill-death ratio does not matter, and getting high kill-death and just going crazy with your kills don't matter. Just make sure you aim first. Not like me, like an idiot. I was used, I was, I'm used to heavy assault. So what you do is you get into your range, which is medium range, and go boom, 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 boom. Make sure you follow the target. And if you can see, my accuracy was my own fault for missing, and boom. My rounds, I'm not having massive visual vertical recoil. Visual recoil is so is very minimal. And you can just see, it's just a fun little mess around thing. 
You don't have to worry about this. There's not this huge amount of work you have to do with deal with recoil. As long as you spend that minute or two before the game, you'll be fine. You'll be better than most people. And I can guarantee you this, the pros probably do this because if, if you just do this a few minute, a minute or two before the game, uh, before you engage and you think about how you engage, you're going to be hitting your targets, not worrying about visual recoil and vertical recoil or uh, the recoil turning off because you'll already be used to how you have to move, move the mouse. And just, as I said, think before you go in. Also, tell your people, even if you play alone, this tip will help you do really good even if playing alone. I'm glad this, I hope this has helped you. Please tell me what you think. I will be going into detail for other, uh, more in depth. And all you have to do is make sure you think what you do, think before you engage, and take your time. Because if you take your time, you'll realize most of the recoil is non-existent, or the recoil that's there is so minuscule, it doesn't matter. i like to say, everyone, thank you for listening. I hope this has helped, and I'd like to say thank you, and good night.